Hi, this is Techstop Public Information Officer Josh Donay here in San Antonio coming at you from the office today. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, an issue that was brought to our attention by a truck driver who called in to uh, talk to us a little bit and make a couple of suggestions about the way uh, things are done at an intersection down on the southeast end of town here in San Antonio. So the issue is on Interstate 410, north and south. Uh, the exit ramps leading into WW White on the southeast end of town where as you can see it's kind of a sharp corner right there uh, going from the frontage roads to turn right or, or what have you for the crossroad of WW White. As this truck driver pointed out traffic on 410 coming into this intersection has a stop sign but the traffic running across this intersection on WW White does not. So what's happening with this busy cross traffic is when you have trucks approach the intersection, there, it creates a problem. You're going to see this truck kind of demonstrate what's going on. As he's having a hard time looking over his right hand, a right shoulder to see who's coming or whether or not traffic's clear, he kind of noses into oncoming traffic kind of to the left, knowing that he's clear right there, and he's going to bank right around to the right to make sure nobody's oncoming before he proceeds through the intersection. We really don't want them to have to be doing this to get through the intersection safely. You're going to see this happen again. Watch carefully as this big rig uh, that's pulling up right here. Watch him see so moves to the left again as he's approaching the intersection, and he angles hard to the right so that he can look over his right shoulder and see that traffic coming toward him along WW White. In this instance, he's waiting a little bit for that uh, van right there to clear the intersection so that he can safely make his way. While the maneuver, again, is something that truck drivers have grown accustomed to at this location, we don't want them to depend on that maneuver in order to safely move through this intersection. So the solution here is to create an all-way stop. And to be honest, that's what the truck driver called us, uh, was asking for. That means stop signs uh, for the cross traffic on South WW White Road in both directions. That means adding about four stop signs to this intersection already. Again, one at each uh, frontage road approach and then one uh, each direction underneath the uh, main lanes of the highway right here, creating an all-stop situation so that the truck traffic that's moving through here can do so safely without worrying about those vehicles that they may or may not be seeing. While this was an area that we already had on our minds, because this truck driver reached out to us and told us about his concern, we've been able to elevate this issue to the forefront of the issues that we know that we need to address in the area. That being said, we're still a couple of months from being able to have the signs and uh, the striping in place to show this new all-way stop configuration at this intersection. One of the things that I think is really fascinating about this situation and others uh, just like it that are all over the place is just how much your input really does mean to us. We, we get about a dozen calls a day uh, on a good day. Sometimes it'll be as, as shy as three to five calls uh, in a day from individuals who are driving around the area that see something going on that think that it could be done a little differently and that'll drive us to put it on a list of things that we look into and uh, sometimes it, it comes uh, with, with some actual change being made sometimes it's something we look at and say you know what this is the best possible scenario um, given any of the alternatives there but uh, I just want uh, folks to know how much your input really means to us and what we do we really do work for you and we try to do things the best we possibly can. We don't have eyeballs on everything every uh, single day, but uh, certainly those that uh, give us a call in kind of let us know what areas we need to zero in on. So uh, if you're one of those that likes to give us a shout once in a while, uh, well thank you for helping us uh, to better do our jobs and uh, make sure that your driving experience and that your transportation experience uh, is constantly improving. Thank you for joining me today and remember uh, if you're out there be safe. Drive smart.